Hey there, it's Jason Stahl with another episode of Body Shop Business, the podcast. And I have two very special guests today from the Women's Industry Network, Cheryl Boswell, who is a past chair of WIN, and Jessica Robb, who is the sponsorship chair of WIN. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. Hi, thank you for having us. You're welcome, and thanks for being here. Um, I know that WIN is kicking off its big uh, national sponsorship drive in October. So my first question to you guys is, um, let's talk about first, what is the Women's Industry Network? The Women's Industry Network is an organization that is dedicated to the support and enhance women in collision repair. It's an all volunteer organization and we have members from all segments of collision repair. Um, some of those segments include collision repair facilities, distributors, suppliers, and insurance agents. Excellent. And how do sponsorship dollars support the mission and vision of WIN? So WIN has a number of programs that are really cool within this industry. Um, as we all know, this is an industry where we're really looking to recruit more people into the industry. And so the programs that WIN has um, today, for example, scholarships for students that are interested in coming into our industry. Um, so dollars go to scholarships. Also dollars go to recognizing women um, that are making a difference in our industry, and that's through the Most Influential Woman Award. Um, but we also have a number of educational programs and webinars um, that are available that, um, you know, real time, but also on our website, as well as our annual conference. So the sponsorship dollars are really critical for WIN's mission to continue to support the industry and help grow the industry. And how do WIN sponsors support the specific WIN collision repair industry initiatives? So we host many events throughout the year, um, events and learning opportunities, and they are focused on the three initiatives of WIN, which are scholarships, uh, resources in the industry, celebrating excellence through MIW, um, and that's all made possible by our WIN sponsorship dollars. Can you expand on those three key WIN initiatives? Yes. So um, the first is awarding scholarships. Uh, through the scholarships, WIN uh, recognizes students that are pursuing collision repair industry opportunities and provides them funding so that they can continue on with their education. Um, we also have celebrating industry excellence through our MIW award that Cheryl mentioned. Uh, through this award, we recognize women from all segments of the industry that are exemplifying excellence. Um, the third is resourcing the industry. Cheryl, do you want to talk about that one? Yes, so through resourcing the industry, we have lots of different events where we really help support women in the industry. For example, we have a number of technical webinars that that we've um, that we've set up and that are on our actual website, so people can learn more about critical areas um, within our industry, as well as different webinars, whether it is you know mental health related or how to improve your networking skills. We also have our annual educational conference. And so we bring in speakers from all different facets of the industry, as well as personal development and leadership. Um, and lastly, we're really excited about our Win Connect program, which is a new program um, that we started about two years ago now. And it really helps women not only connect, which networking is such a critical, critical component within our industry, but also to work on their own leadership development skills and the Win Connect program really brings that to women that might not have the opportunity to um, really develop personally otherwise. Give me some more details about Win Connect. Okay. So Win Connect is an, a newer program, but we realized there was kind of a missing component throughout the year. And we've determined that at conference, one of the things that people really enjoy about conference is that ability to network and meet other people in the industry that they wouldn't otherwise get to know but also having the opportunity to develop themselves personally from a leadership standpoint. So those were really the two thought process behind creating Win Connect. And so the Win Connect program actually utilizes outside coaches um, that their expertise is about self-development and um, pulls together a group of individuals that are interested in being a part of it. And if you go to the Win website, you can look at how to get involved in Win Connect. Um, and then during these calls, it's not only about self-development, understanding your leadership styles, maybe your communication styles, um, but also getting to know those other individuals in the industry that you might just see, you know, once a year at WIN conference. 
So I do encourage people to go to the, the website and um, click on that if they're interested in learning more and about joining a, um, a Win Connect group. Great. And can you give me more details on the, the Win Scholarship Program? Yes. So there are different tiers of the Win Scholarship Program. It actually was um, um, enhanced over the last couple of years. Um, and so there is an opportunity for any student to A, um, become a WIN member for free. So at any time, a student can go onto our website and become a WIN member, and we highly encourage that. Um, secondly, women that are working on their collision repair education can go into our website and apply for a scholarship. And not only are they funded dollars to help pay towards their education, it's actually paid directly to their school where they're enrolled, but also we connect them with mentorship and other resources and tools to help them enhance their career. Um, and lastly, the scholarship winners get a virtual conference code so they can attend our educational conference virtually. And we've determined that that is really critical in terms of not only helping women get the education, but then connecting them back in the industry and helping them learn other ways to get involved and really helping them connect with jobs and key um, individuals within the network. Because we've determined that networking is the key to keep people within the industry and that support. Wonderful. The WIN Educational Conference. Tell me more about that. I am so excited. I have never been. I am planning to go next year, mm -hmm. so I can't wait. Tell me a little bit more about the WIN Educational Conference. Yeah, so the WIN Educational Conference, um, this year it's going to be held May 6th through 8th in Newport Beach, California. Uh, registration for that will open on December 15th. And it is really just the flagship event of the WIN organization. Uh, you know, sometimes it feels like all the activities are leading up to conference. Um, during those uh, three days, it's educational uh, content. We have speakers, you know, once again, from all facets of collision repair and some that are outside the industry that just provide general kind of business or you know, life skills knowledge. Um, we have networking events. Um, we have our annual scholarship walk, which is another fundraising event for scholarship. Um, and that's a really fun event and one we have a, always have a lot of participation in. Um, we also celebrate this, our scholarship and our MIW winners at that event. And um, can you expand on the Most Influential Women Award? Uh, I know that's been a longstanding award program. It's very prestigious. I remember attending one of those over a decade ago, I believe. But it's, it's, it's pretty prestigious in the industry. Talk, talk to me a little bit more about that. Uh, yeah, actually, the program was started over 20 years ago, and um, the idea was that there are women that are making a big difference in the industry, but sometimes, you know, people are just kind of going about their day-to-day -day business, but aren't being recognized for what they're doing. And the women that have been um, recognized as most influential women have been making a difference within the industry and within their local community. So it's not just um, not just industry focused, but it's also women that are making a difference, whether it's mentoring in their local markets and giving back to their community. So looking at women that um, that are really serving as a whole picture and um, and taking that moment to say thank you for really paving the way for us and for making a difference. And many of those women are still very involved in the industry, whether they're currently working in the industry anymore or mentoring. And um, one of the focuses too, is to recognize women that are currently active in the industry that are continuing to pave ways for others. And, um, and so we're really just proud that we have the opportunity to thank women. Um, I don't recall what the exact count is now, but it's well over a hundred women um, that we've recognized um, over the last uh, 20 plus years. Nice. So let's go back to the sponsors. What are some practical benefits that WIN sponsors would receive uh, as sponsors of WIN? Mm -hmm. um, one of the big, biggest benefits that they receive are complimentary annual memberships. Over the past few years, we've really increased the amount of memberships that our sponsors receive so that they can extend those out to their employees. Um, also to vendor partners, to customers, to students, anyone that they would like to gift those to. So um, that's probably one of the biggest benefits. Another is passes to the annual conference, uh, depending on their sponsorship level. Those are available uh, both for in-person attendance at the event and also virtual. 
We also recognize our sponsors at all of our events on our website and social media. So we want to make sure that our sponsors know that we do appreciate them being there for when and all that they do. Um, in addition, we're looking at now having a job posting opportunity as well for our sponsors, where sponsors can post jobs and we can help connect more women in the industry. Um, and last but not least, we do have a pay it forward campaign as well, where individuals can individuals or companies can buy memberships for others and to pay it forward. So those that aren't able to join the industry will now have the opportunity through when to become a member. Excellent. And last but not least, so important, if someone wants to be a sponsor of WIN or become a member or get more information or get involved somehow in the Women's Industry Network, where do they go for more information? They can go to our website, thewomensindustrynetwork.org. Um, and if you just Google with the Women's Industry Network, we're going to come up and um, there's a sponsorship tab. So please go to that tab. But we also have an active Facebook page and we're also on LinkedIn. Um, but feel free to reach out to Jessica or myself as well. Um, we'd be happy to connect with you as well, too. So, Well, ladies, I want to thank you for your time. I can't think of a better organization than when, you know, the technician shortage is the strongest headwind facing the collision repair industry right now. It's all hands on deck. We need as much professionals as we can to stream into this industry. Just the other day, I visited a, a, a massive, beautiful collision facility, and the head, head painter was a female, and she was doing a great job in the spray booth. So I really appreciate you guys being on the podcast today, and thank you so much for all you do. Thank you so thank much you, for supporting Wynn and having us here today. So we appreciate it. You're welcome. I'm Jason Stahl. Thanks for watching. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in to Body Shop Business, the podcast. Check out bodyshopbusiness.com for more podcasts.